Okay, hi everyone, it's Consel here. So today we are going to do the uh, patch notes review for Taiwan's 19th May, uh, which is today's uh, patch. So the main new content will be the Path of Glory, 15th difficulty. Previously we'll be using uh, doing 14. So this just means more materials here. More of these materials here. Uh, higher level difficulty, we'll probably featuring the new boss. Uh, I'll, be, I'll do a separate video on that. We'll see what is the what are the exact changes, and higher chance of getting this. But as you know, this is like next to in, impossible. I've mentioned it many times during my streams. Uh, here, these are all just talking about the uh, rewards, what are the changes, etc. Which I've just verbally spoken as well. This is just a continuation of the event where they give fifty percent knowledge gain for hard doom. Uh, this is a nice feature here where now you can choose which is the weapon that you want to roll your Shakato coins for So you don't necessarily need to have that class in order to roll it out uh, Some quality of life changes where they just improve the speed of the uh, changing using the Shakato exchange certificate uh, Important thing for Blood King here is that you no longer need to enter the Blood King page in order to do the uh, that bonus to get a bonus for your blood kin. And now you can only summon your blood kin members in villages and normal uh, outside maps, which is the Elio maps basically. So I think this means that even desert we can't summon anymore. You can't summon to the uh, boss or the Black Rock Shrine, it means. And there is an improvement here in Black Sun mode where when there's no one around you, you can immediately move to a town or even lock off. So in the past, right, you can't move to town during Black Sun mode when you are inside the maps that have a uh, Black Sun. So now you can immediately move and you can lock off also. But if there's someone near you, obviously the game is expecting some combat and you shouldn't be able to escape the combat via that method. So okay, this is quite decent. The only thing is that I don't know when this will trigger. What are the conditions for this? Like you know, uh, let's say if someone is pursuing you, you manage to run away. And how, how does it work basically? Most likely, the opponent will need to run away and get away from you for quite a bit of time before they can leave. Ah, okay, this is the very good change. The change where effectively the battle of a field of sun, right? Once you finish your 10 times using the SP scroll, you can use silver to enter and it's unlimited. So, this means this basically means that instead of finishing my battle of, field of sun on Wednesdays and Thursdays, I can now play there on Saturday and Sunday as well. Uh, for the fun of it and also to get the uh, uh, the medals from the Battlefield of Sun that can be used to purchase further stuff. Okay, uh, there's a nerf to the uh, new world boss. I think they felt that the HP was too long. Personally, I felt it was okay actually. At least it feels, it feels more like a red boss. But they have decreased his max HP. And they have put in a very good change where if the boss HP is less than 50%, you won't be allowed to enter. So I think this is very important because I think for people who and who are unlucky enough to enter when the boss is not at 50 HP or maybe only 20 or 10 HP left, right? It's actually very hard for them to get the best chest. This is just telling us that they are changing the display, not changing the drops for world boss. So instead of showing the relic, it's just gonna show the uh, world boss materials. I think this is more of a change for you guys actually when they eventually give you guys this then at least it will show the boss materials rather than this the relic uh, this is giving the oh this is actually improving the repeatable quest in Elio maps where the number of light stone sh uh, material light stone fragments that you get is basically doubled okay so that's quite nice when you don't have enough hardened potion then it makes it more worthwhile to farm here this is the newest map. These four are the new maps. Mm, okay, the rest of these are just quality of life changes. I'm not gonna go through them much. There's a fix here where when you're doing auto quest or auto uh, boss rush, you will fix the character where it tries to go towards the target and then it works backwards. I've encountered this myself quite a few times, so it's nice that they fixed this. Okay. The next session here, right, is a huge buff on uh, Tamer. I don't think Tamer needed a buff, but yeah, and you're getting a huge buff. So I will cover that in a separate video because that's really quite a bit of content to cover. Look at the amount of changes. 
this is for the Tamer uh, Awakening. The one, the least previously was for the Tamer Ascension. So I'll do a separate video on the Tamer Ascension. These are just saying like the new packages that we are having, and there's really a lot of packages. I'll move on to that shortly for the Pearl Shop. Yeah, there's a whole lot of bunch of items actually. These are some bug fixes. Ah, okay, so this is just fixing the Black Spirit mode uh, bug that people are using. People are using the Black Spirit to try to escape from battle. So this is basically fixing it. Yep. Alright, let's move on to the uh, Pearl Shop itself. Okay, sorry I had to jump ahead because I had to move a bit of my uh, screen. How much stamina do I have left? Okay, should be enough to last for the video. Okay, uh, as you can see right, we have quite a bit of items this week. They really want us to spend after giving us the silver lucky shop. So this, 34.75 SGD, 4200 black pearls, 30 red lightstone fragment boxes, and 3 additional ticket to the Hardium world boss. Honestly speaking, 30 of this for this price, to, along with this right, is not good. I will show you guys shortly why, because there's also another con another package related to the uh, Hadum potion, Hadum uh, holy water that you need to use to be in Hadum mode. So this right, they are giving you 30 of this mainly is for the Hadum water, it's not for equipping actually. You can equip it, just that people mostly use this for the Hadum uh, potion or the holy water. Okay, this is like trying to get a lottery, 55.55k. Black Pulse for 579, but obviously the chance is super super low. I don't think no anybody has actually gotten this uh, grand prize before. I mean, it's been a few times since they've given us this. Previously on my stream, there was also another one where I think it was like 799k Black Pulse. Oh, surprisingly, there's no item information here on this Black Pulse. Okay. Now, this is a nice chest where. You get 1200 black pearls, 4 additional POG season 5 tickets, 350 shadow knots, and 10k boss stamp. Now, the 350 shadow knots, right? The value is actually quite alright because uh, if I look at the. Where is it? Ah, okay. So, you, you, you see here, right? 100 of this is actually 260 black pearls, 1000 of this is 2500 black pearls. So 350, let's just take a simple dividing division of 3, right? This is about 800 black pearls worth. So effectively, this package is giving us uh, 2,000 black pearls, 4 additional tickets, and 10k pearl stamps. On top of that, right, when you buy 3 of these, it will give you an additional 2 POG season 5 tickets and 20k pearl stamps. So uh, most likely, I will be buying this. Now the next two right, they share the same purchase, they are they are the same version, just that one gives you Ancient Ruin Tablets, the other one gives you uh, boss stamps. So 400 black pearls, 100 totems, and you get this as well, when you buy two times. This is for boss stamps basically. Personally, I'm not going to buy this, because the totem amount is a bit low, although the cost is not high. If you multiply this by 8, it's about 80 plus. Sorry, about 100 actually. So about 80, no, to be exact, it's about 90. So 90 bucks for 800 of this totem. Uh, I don't think it's that great. I mean, if you buy this, obviously you want the totem, not the boss stamp or ancient ruins. So personally, I don't think I'll be buying that. Now, this is actually something that everyone, every of the uh, pay to win players needs right now which is the Restoration Scroll because the Restoration Scroll consumption is very very high for Relic as well as for the uh, Enhancement Stone now I myself am running out of this so this is actually quite expensive it's 58 SGD 2000 White Pearls, 15k of the Restoration Scrolls and you get a random chance getting this the highest chance is this, 40% this is 30% and I think this is 10, 20% 10% So the chance of getting the highest one is not too bad In terms of the amount gotten right There is a standard package that we are having where it gives 1200 black pearls and 20k restoration scrolls 
for 34 SG, 34 plus SGD. So this is effective almost effectively like uh, about 1.1 and 2 third, 1.66 times of that. But the world boss that the restoration screw that you get right actually is it's about there. And on top of that you get additional white pearls as well. So this is actually not too bad a package. The value is about the same as the uh, the standard package but slightly higher. But if you need restoration screws, this will be the go-to option. I will probably buy, buy maybe one or two of these. I won't buy everything. Otherwise it's way too expensive. Now for people who are really keen on pumping up their relic, right? This is also the go-to option because you get four up to 400 k from 400k to 1 million relic fragments from this at the cost of 58 SGD on top of that you get 2000 white pearls and 6k uh, restoration scrolls the I look at the percentage already five, I can't remember the exact ones but 500k is the highest percentage so I would say that most likely when you open all 6 right yeah 6 you probably get a range of uh, 600 on average feathering a bit of uh, RNG as such so it's 3.6 uh, million relic fragments which is actually pretty good if you're trying to pump up your relic but personally I don't think I'll be getting this because I've actually gotten quite a bit of relics from all these silver lucky shop I think I have like 40 plus right now just over 40 for me to try so what I really need is actually the restoration scroll but like I said right this is actually quite costly so I don't think I'll be buying much of this this on the other hand is the one where I feel that it's worth buying so if there's only one thing that you want to buy this uh, week right it will, it will probably be this now other than this right there is also a there is also a daily hardum the holy water potion that you can buy this right uh, there's a lot of uh, max involved on this so I did a calculation prior to this so let me go to that okay so basically right you spend 11.58 to get 20 up front 20 of the holy water up front and 350 total from 7 days uh, 50 a day and by buying both of these packages you get additional bonus every day as well and the total amounts to 210 essentially right in total right for this amount of uh, cash if 46 SGD you are effectively getting 36.5 holy water per 1 SGD likewise for the big package right you get more holy water but the amount that you get per SGD is about the same 36.5 versus 36.8 more or less the same now the usual package this is where the interesting comes the usual package right the only amount that you the amount that you get holy water per 1 SGD is 22.5 so if you really want, if you are the type who spend every week a little on this, right? Then yes, this is the package to buy. For myself, right? I don't. Maybe I buy this like once, once or twice a month, just to top up the amount that I have because it's really easy to run out of holy water when you're doing the nightmare, hardu nightmare. But if you're not doing hardu nightmare, right? You don't really need to buy this. The normal amounts from uh, the rest of the content would suffice. But you will still need to do some uh, early on map farming as well. You can't do Hardoom 247. Hardoom 247 is very costly on the holy water. So for people who really want to buy the holy water, I think this one is a good option. This is mainly for the pay to win players, honestly speaking. Okay, now back to the game itself. Uh, if I'm not wrong, other than this, right, there is a new costume. But I think it's only for guys or maybe even only for striker I think it's only for striker it's the striker yeah there's a new costume only for striker this is how it looks like I'm not impressed on the six week yep Okay, so in conclusion, I'll buy this, maybe I'll buy this, just a bit maybe, very bit maybe actually, yep, alright, thanks everyone for watching, this ends the uh, partial review and patch notes review, I'll do a separate video for Tamer, cause that one is, it definitely warrants a separate video by itself, 
Alright, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you guys uh, next video. Bye.